Welcome back to the How to Podcast series. It's Dave here again with you. I hope you're doing well. We are into our Apple Seed series. We have 10 episodes. This is episode 3 of 10. And it's all based around that quote. I'm going to say it again. And you're going to hear it several more times. That you can't, you can count the number of seeds in an apple, but you can't count the number of apples in a seed. We are looking at how to impact your podcast by doing your research and your preparation for your episodes. Oh, we need to spend some time getting ready before we hit record, people. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Let's make our podcast better by putting in the time to research and prepare. Here on the How to Podcast series, let's go. So when I think back a long time ago, because I'm old, when I went to get my driver's license. You better know that I spent a lot of time reading that owner's manual, the how to drive manual, the test manual, whatever you call it. I studied every street sign there was. I studied every rule, every law I could think of. I wanted to be completely researched and completely prepared when I went in to write my exam. And I was basically overprepared. I I got my license when I lived in a small town, when I talk small, like 500 people town. Yeah, very small. And when I did my test, I think I was like maybe one or two people in the room that wrote the test. And back then, you could actually go for your full license test almost immediately. So I put in a lot of time to study, learn because I wanted to be ready. I wanted to get it on the first try, and I did. I got, and I probably because I lived in a small town, I didn't really, it wasn't quite as hard as maybe the city, but I did get my license right away at 16, and I was driving the same day on my birthday. And one of the first things I did, I drove right through a stop sign. So there you go. There you go. I, I know exactly what I'm doing. Anyways. That's off my chest. I feel much better now. Thank you. I want to talk about how when we create our podcast that we need to spend our time researching and preparing. It's super important that we actually build in the time to do this right so that we're ready with our podcast. And so let's talk about this. And again, like in all of the episodes we're going to do for the Apple Seed series here on the How to Podcast series, I say series a lot is we're going to give you three actionable steps at the end. And they'll be in the show notes. So always go back and check the show notes. Whitney, are you listening? Yeah, in the show notes. So everything will be there for you as well. So head over there and check that out. When we do our research for our podcast, it needs to be thorough. It needs to be in depth. It needs to be the foundation of a compelling message within our podcast. And it's something that I think that for most of us who do like this, a solo episode, where we're on our own and there's no rules and there's no one watching over our shoulders, we can go on tangents. We can go off on into the woods and never come back. We definitely want to stay on course and we want to give the best quality content that we can, which involves time, effort, and research. What I would suggest for you as you prepare for your podcast episodes, even early on in your podcast journey, is to pull from really diverse sources. Gather your information from credible sources like books, articles, websites, uh, interviews that you've heard, anything that sparks you to go, wait, that was awesome, or I learned something. And I see the world different now because of this. And then share that with your audience. This ensures that you have a well-rounded perspective of your topic. What I really struggle with is when experts have a podcast and they're the expert about themselves and their own personal views. And they are very hesitant to bring in any outside voices because they want to be the expert in the room. They want to get all the accolades They want to be the one on stage. They want to get the awards and the glory. And if it doesn't come from them, 
it's probably not true. Does that sound familiar at all? Yeah. For you as a podcaster, one of the things you should really take your time to do is do some basic fact checking when you're creating your episode. To go off an assumption or something that you heard that someone else might have said to someone else and you're not really sure can lead to a lot of trouble in the future. And your credibility kind of takes a hit when you jump on the mic out of reaction mode, spout off your thoughts about something that turns out to be nothing like you thought it was, and then you've now shared to the world your ignorance because you didn't know all the facts and you didn't come across as well thought through and articulate and knowledgeable. You just reacted in the moment. Side note, if someone gives you bad information, if somebody attacks you, that's not the time to hit record on your podcast because you're speaking from hate, you're speaking from hurt, you're speaking from anger. Don't record an episode when you're upset. Don't do it. It'll not be helpful for you in the future. One thing to consider, too, is just to do your best to stay current. Keep your knowledge up to date following the latest developments in your field. This helps you to provide accurate information from relevant, trusted sources. Stay current as much as you can. Next thing I try to do for myself is I create an outline. An organized structure is essential to keep your podcast message coherent and engaging. And so some of the steps that I have in my outline for my podcast episodes include the following, and I'll put all this in the show notes so that you don't have to try to write all this down, okay? Um, So in my outline, I have my introduction, which is my hook. We talked about uh, hook your listeners with an attention-grabbing intro, clearly states the states the episode's topic and purpose. From my introduction, I go to my main points. Divide your episodes into several main points that support each central message. Each point should be distinct and contribute to the overall episode content. So I go from introduction to main points. Then I move into my examples and my stories. Again, using realistic examples and anecdotes and case studies to illustrate your points and make your content relatable. From my examples and stories, I move into my expert insights. If applicable, integrate your insights from interviews with experts or thought leaders in the field to provide depth and credibility. From my expert insights, I move into my transition and flow. Use smooth transitions to guide your listeners from one point to the next, a logical flow ensures that your message is easy to follow. And just like a good introduction is important, a good conclusion is also important. Try as much as you can to summarize the key takeaways, restate your central message, and encourage action or reflection from your listeners. So we have our call to action CTA, so we could also have a CTR call to reflection. Whoa, that's new. Maybe we need to add that to our podcast episode as well. So what do you want people to do with the content that you provide? And one thing I find when I talk to podcasters is they know who they're talking to and they know what they want to say, but they forget the one part that I think is also important is what do you want your listeners to do with the information that you're providing to them? There's got to be some sort of finality and completion to the episode and the content you're providing. So some actionable tips for results. As we kind of look through this, develop a research routine. So set aside time to research your topic, create a repository, a bucket full of reputable sources that you can refer to consistently. Use Google Alerts as a way to subscribe to or subscribe to newsletters and to stay informed. Get your information coming to you instead of you going out to find it. 
use these tools. They really work well. So you develop a research routine and do that on a consistent basis becomes normal for you, becomes habit. Also, fact check and cross-reference. Make sure you verify the information that you're using from multiple credible sources before including it in your podcast in the world of AI. Simply don't take what AI gives you and just paste it into your blog or read it off as a podcast. Make sure you're fact-checking. Dates, times, places, names, um, quotes. You want to make sure that you're using accurate information in your podcast. Cross-reference your data and any stats to ensure they're accurate. Again, saying that I'm in the 1% of podcasts. Okay, where are the facts behind that? Make sure you have that information. So develop a research routine fact check and cross-reference. And lastly, as an actionable tip, is engage with experts and thought leaders. Reach out to experts for interviews or collaborations to provide their authoritative insights for your community. Again, it doesn't need to be your voice on every episode. You can bring in, you can bring in experts and they can give you uh, things you haven't even thought about. You don't know what you don't know. And maybe an expert guest interview on your show will open the floodgates and your, your listeners will appreciate the fact that you brought in someone who could speak to them and give them value in addition to what you do on a regular basis within your podcast. So reach out to the experts, prepare thoughtful and relevant questions that encourage in-depth discussions for your guests and properly attribute a reference expert contribution within your podcast to main credibility. Be sure to give credit where credit is due. Your podcast is your content going into the world, pulled from a variety of sources and a variety of influences. You might not even realize as you get on the microphone that you're going to say things that you've heard other places. You're going to repeat some things you've learned from someone else. It's going to come out in your natural speech as you are interviewed or as you interview, as you solo host, as you co-host. Things that are in you that you have learned and you have grown in and become an expert in will feed its way into your content. Make sure you cite your resources and give them credit because you'd want them to do the same for you. So as we look at Part three now of our Appleseed series, how we can impact our podcast by doing research and prep. It all goes behind the scenes of every episode. And you can release an episode with confidence that you've put in the time that you know what you're talking about, that your audience will benefit from the content you've pulled together on their behalf. And your, your audience will see you as a thought leader in that you bring to them the knowledge that they don't have access to in the moment, and they will trust you, they will know you, they will like you, and they will trust you to bring them consistent content every week. Your impact will be beyond your wildest dreams. And remember, you can count the number of seeds in an apple, but you can't count the number of apples in a seed. How to podcast.ca would love to catch you there and meet up with you and hear your feedback on how your podcast is impacting lives. I would love to hear a story from your, your side of the microphone. Part four is coming up on the Appleseed series. Stay tuned. It's coming soon. Thanks for listening. Take care.